Robin Wallace's room? Yeah. Don't tell me. You're Robin Usher, my new roommate. I'm Robin Usher, but I don't know about this roommate thing. Come on in, let's discuss this. I can't believe this happened. I am so sorry. I have been living through hell these past two weeks since school started. Housing had to put me in a hotel room because they didn't have a room for me. So I have none of my belongings. All of my luggage is still there. Luckily, I didn't have to pay for it, else I would have been out on the street. I heard the dorms would feel way over capacity this year. How did you get so lucky? My parents, my, uh, they have a lot of clouds. My father's a reject. Wallace. The Wallace Library? That's your family, isn't it? Yeah, but don't hold it against me. You gotta figure out something for this situation. What? Why don't you call Housing Division right now and tell them what the situation is? That's a good idea. Housing Division, please. Hi, Quinn. Hey, Deb. You look a little tired today. Late night with all the women. You're such an animal. <laughs> yes, I'm still here. The name is Robin Usher. I was misplaced in a dorm room with... Hello? What? What do you mean I'm not listed? I enrolled way back in June. Look, we're not getting anywhere with this situation. And I won't see you put on the street because some jerk at housing can't do his job. I have a perfectly comfortable bed and plenty of space. Why don't we just try to make the best of it? For the time being, of course. I don't know. I feel so uncomfortable about this whole situation. My brother and I shared room until I was 14, but this is a little bit different. What about the RA? Can't he say something? I'll take care of it. But we can't stay like this forever. We'll keep looking for a room for you. Sounds like a plan. My girlfriend Janelle is just gonna love this. Yeah, Quinn and I had a really good time last night. We just saw a movie. And? And? Carly, it was just a movie. That's it. We both have way too much schoolwork to keep us from staying up at night. Sorry I don't have any dirty stories to fill that mind of yours. You know, you two have really become Boredomville. I mean, my psych papers are more exciting. That reminds me, we had our group assignments in Psyche Day. I better have got a hard-working group or I'll be pissed. What? I dropped the clothes. <sighs> Damn it, Carly, you always do this to me. You get me to sign up for some hokey class when I would much rather be in poli -sci, and then you go and drop it. Thanks a lot, best friend. No, I'm sorry, it's not my fault. I have to take Psych 260. It's a requirement for us psych majors. But have oodles of fun with your group. I've got to get back to work. Yeah, we know this library can't run without you. Hello. Um, listen, I'm going to be at the counseling center till late tonight, so I won't get back to the dorm till around 10, so don't start partying without me. Toodles. situation worked out. I thought I'd never fit in here at a smaller university when I transferred. But Tina, you've really helped me and become such a good friend. We never discussed what made you decide to transfer. Did you call Josh yet? No. He already knows it's over between us. Why should I call? Because you didn't blatantly say that it's over. Make it official. Why? Did Josh say something to his brother? I don't know. I have my first date with Morgan tonight. I could ask him. But why did you dump Josh anyway? Josh is a really sweet guy. 
We had a great time together. But it's like he's always daydreaming about something, like he's in a daze. He just never told me what it was. So where are you and Morgan now? Oh, please. Laura! He is very good looking. But he knows it. And so does everyone else on this campus. You've never had any desire for him? We're good friends. It's kind of hard to be attracted to someone when you're dating their brother. Come on, Tina. You can tell Laura. I'm gonna call Josh. What did I do wrong? Tina, why can't we work this out? I still care for you. So that's what your group projects will entail. I expect a copious amount of in-depth analysis and an immense team effort from all. Be inclined to work incessantly because I will expect nothing less than the best from all of you. And it's 40% of your grade. Questions? Adam, Mr. Lynch, what are we supposed to do if people in our group aren't pulling their own weight? My group assignments, Ms. Hawkins, are final. If a problem arises in your group, your psychology students handle it. Uh, what a jerk. Group one will consist of the following people. Tina Draven, Nathan Gerhardt. He's not here today. But she'll be sure to tell him, right? Yeah, right. Janelle Hawkins, Zoe Oswald, Josh Spencer, Morgan Spencer. Oh, this should be interesting. Tell me about it. Laura Tisch. And Robin Usher. As you can see, these groups are rather large, but this will help acquaint you with the challenges of working in teams. Group one, you should be getting together and scheduling a time to meet. I'm going to get with group two over here. Good luck on your date with Laura. Thanks, Chad. And Chad, don't forget tutoring tonight at 7. <laughs> what kind of tutoring is that? So what are we
I know we weren't able to spend a lot of time together yesterday, but I have to study for my LSAT every chance I get. If I don't get into law school, my parents will flip. Understand. I haven't been Miss Availability myself either. But it might get worse though. Why? I'm thinking about running for a student body president next year. And don't say you told me so. Well, I did. I knew you could keep doing it. Politics is in your blood. Are you sure you can handle it? It's a lot of extra work. You've gone too far already. It starts with just a few and then snowballs into more and more until finally you're caught in a whirlwind that just doesn't stop. Tina, take the first step. Don't do it. Don't succumb to the evil forces of the library. I'm here to help you through. Once they've got you in their web, you'll never escape. You just finished acting class, huh? About an hour ago. Is it that obvious? <laughs> Seriously, it'll only take two minutes, but thanks for your advice. I'm going to try this one alone. I think I can do it. Warns. It was a very nice dinner. But I think we can do a little more. I can't do this. Morgan, what's wrong? 
Look, I know you're not gonna believe me when I tell you this, but I can't do this with you. You're very beautiful. It's just.